Ohio, Konnichiwa, and good evening to all my fellow anime and music fans. It's pretty late presently right here, but I do this for you all. We are here for episode nine. Episode nine. It's been a wild ride so far. Let's get right into it. Roberta, what you got for us today? Ravi, let's go. Aid to kill. Mm. I haven't said anything yet. I'm forgetting. I'm supposed to be live reacting for y'all, but this uh this setup for the setting and all that is Woo <laughs> It's so different. Mm -hmm. This place is crazy compared to my hometown. Kid your age shouldn't be exposed to a city like this. Romanapur at night. I'll be fine. Mm. You have a lot of faith. You believe in your family, don't you? Of course. I, I believe, believe in Roberta. Her. Oh! I she she's come here to take people my father. <laughs> what? Well, you're fortunate. To be able to know in your heart that things will work out. That line is confident this maid of yours is going to risk her life to save you. And I really don't know if that's gonna happen or not. But one thing I'm pretty sure of, you must have one solid family to have such faith in them. It's just... Sometimes I wonder how my family actually feels about me. You mean they... Uh, never mind, it's not important. Oh, Rocky misses mommy. You think so? <laughs> if I yeah. did, I'm thinking I probably would have said goodbye to this place a long time ago. Rock, that's fucking pathetic. Only some tit sucking mama's boy would come up with that bullshit conversation you're enjoying. We're just talking about ideals. You know, something you hold on to because you believe in it. <laughs> so if I was <laughs> kidnapped, would you try to save me? Would you come charging in with cutlass in hand to save me? I wouldn't forgive you for being stupid enough to get kidnapped in the first place. Sounds that like... never happens. Forget you know us, and then beg forgiveness for being such a fuck up before you kill yourself. See, wow. these are the people I hang out with. <laughs> Just the same. same. They're worth hanging on to. <laughs> hey, kid. What a fan. This maid you've been talking about? Sure hope she's not just some bullshit fantasy you made up. I'd love to meet her. Cause my cutlass feels too cold. Who knows? Your maid could help fix that. <sighs> I'm just kidding. Well, I guess there's no point in getting my hopes up. Not when I'm dealing with some maid-obsessed brat like you. <laughs> Did you hear that? Be rude, she says. What a crazy bitch! <laughs> huh? Is this a fight? I'm very sorry, but I will not be able to hold back. Right. Excuse me. And I hope you enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I want to make it like that. <laughs> so 
seems reliable. Shit, didn't this place just reopen? <coughs> you know what you want for Christmas, right? <laughs> Just be at no choice. Ah, fucking fuck. All right, then. Uh, Garcia, listen to me. Don't move from this spot until they stop shooting. When this thing is all over, find your maid and go home to Venezuela. I... I didn't think she could just... That Roberta could be so... She's not the kind of person who kills people. What's taking you? Ten fucking grand to replace my booze, tack on another fifteen for the furniture, plus at least twenty grand for the building itself. Now to figure out who I'm sending the invoice to. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for me to open my mouth. Lagoon Company, what the fuck are you guys doing here? What happened to that package you were supposed to deliver to us? Okay, hold on. Don't jump to conclusions, Abrego. <laughs> huh? Uh, then why the fuck is the package here? You better not have ignored our contract. I said, don't jump to conclusions. We'll talk about payment later. This ain't the time. <laughs> Young Master. Oh, Roberta, I certainly didn't expect to see you here, Master Garcia. Your father has been extremely worried about you. Please, come. <sighs> it's only natural that you feel afraid right now. But if you let me, I will explain myself. I promise you will understand. Wow. Who are these people? Not good. They're eyes, man. No! Roberta, don't! Stay back, housemaid. I don't think any of us wants to die. Especially not your sweet little Garcia. Wouldn't you agree? Are you crazy? You're gonna make it worse. Shut up. 
As long as you're not stupid enough to start shooting at us, you'll get the kid home in one piece. With his brain still in his head. Comprende? Oh. I need a moment to think. We're not done with you yet, you fucking bitch! My goodness. They're just throwing around the B-word like it's an accessor. Just take me. I think the car may got your father. She didn't ask for the respect. They didn't offer friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Para los vivos. Hmm? Un ramo de flores para los muertos. That's Spanish. A blessing for the living, a branch of flowers for the dead. Un castigo de muerto para los malvados. With a sword for justice, the punishment of death for the villains. De los santos. Like this, we arrive at the altar of the saints. The Lovelace family creed. I cannot agree to your request, though I do intend to have the young master home in one piece. However, I must work in accordance with this creed. In the name of Santa Maria. The word. The hammer of righteousness to all injustice! Oh. Ah. Oh. like a walk in the park. Hey, huh? is Revy all right? Her injuries are minor, but she does have a concussion. Revy, wake up, will you? Hey! Garcia! Please stop! You have to stop this, Roberta! Just stop it! Garcia. Garcia, you're talking like Cody from One Piece. Don't stop the war! We're leaving! We're leaving. Run! Oh, uh... <laughs> Garcia. Oh, now she stopped. I can't deal with this. I don't know who she is. Stay right there. Casa de Florencia. That's right, you're the bloodhound of Florencia. I can't fucking believe that you're still alive. Not even Jesus Christ could have guessed that one. These four years since you left the Colombian Revolutionary Army, everyone from goddamn drug cartels to fucking Interpol has been after you, woman. The cartels put a $400,000 bounty on your head, dead or alive. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like luck is finally on my side. 400,000. If I bring your head back on a platter, I'll be made a lieutenant in the cartel. It's <laughs> 400,000. To keep you alive. Huh? Oh, excuse me now. I must be on my way. She However, it's an extensive party gig. To all of you gentlemen, I bid farewell. Oh my goodness. No. I'm getting so good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Damn, when it comes to killing, she doesn't mess around. Oh, Rock. no! Dumb fuck, I told you to leave that kid behind. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I couldn't leave him there to die. Do 
you think that might have killed her? No! I shouldn't be able to hear anything, but I can feel it. Her footsteps getting closer and closer. And I could swear that any minute now her black maid's outfit will appear from that fiery exit. So hurry up and get in the car! <laughs> This one is quite infamous indeed. Her code name is Bloodhound. She got it because once she's locked onto her prey, she always makes the kill. Oh, this is going to be a pain. They're calling, Sergeant. It's probably the worst possible news. Huh? She's coming. <laughs> so long playing mafia dulls the instincts and makes one soft we'll see but it never hurts to be prepared now does it we owe lagoon or rather we owe dutch for all he's done we simply cannot leave things the way they are let us go comrades hawk your hammers <laughs> Benny? 
Wake up. Who will find this in action movies anyway? Uh. The Invincible Killing Robot. I said this last episode, you really don't know who people are. <clears throat> I got, I'm too hung up on that action. It, it just passed me by. You really don't understand people without truly talking with them, without truly getting to know them, without truly being with them in different situations and different environments. Garcia found out some very uh, troubling information to swallow tonight. And I'm, I'm excited for episode 10. We'll check out these previews. I'll call it, I can't even say I'll call it a night, I'll let y'all go to the next episode though. <laughs> So far, seems like Roberta is, uh, I would say she's slightly, skill-wise, I would say she's slightly above Revy. Mm. We around Revy, Revy more, so Revy's more valuable. Like, you want to see Revy very progressive we want to see very win but and that feeling I got from watching her burn it out hey she's up there no question then I gotta I gotta uh wonder about uh Valalaika uh Valalaika Valalanka, yeah, like I wonder her skill level because when she came out, everybody was like, oh, ready to go, boss. Like, okay, like Valalanka versus versus uh Roberta. I wonder who will win that. Valalanka versus Ravi. I'm sure we're gonna see one of those battles. At some point, but uh, it's safe to say, Barry got knocked out. I'm not sure if she could beat uh, Roberta one on one. Ugh, this is action packed, man. I love, I love this. I love this. Uh, yeah, they threw around that, that B word. Uh, Awful lot. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not much else to say. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day, the rest of their evening, the rest of their night. And I'll see you for episode 10. 
so ecstatic uh, to get into episode 10. I might watch another one tonight, even if I got to release the video a little later. But, uh, yeah. I'll let you all go. Sayonara. See you again.